Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. As you can tell today, we have some farmhouse kitchen DIY decor and a lot of it is also functional. So here we go. The first one we're gonna do is this kitchen stand. It is functional. I tested it out actually with my iPad Pro. So uh, you're gonna need a bamboo cutting board or any kind of small piece of wood like that. And I also used one of these little easels. It won't matter if you have the black one or the white one. So what you're gonna go ahead and do is get all that plastic stuff, of course, off of there. And we're gonna go in with this wood tent from Folk Art. It is a walnut wood stain, and it I like it better than just staining it because it's less messy and it dries so much faster. I went ahead and did the same to some Jenga blocks as well as the wood part of the easel, as well as the back of the easel. Um, it's like the particle board, cardboard kind of thing it just didn't look right um you won't obviously be able to see a lot of it when you're you know have it out in your kitchen but depending on where you're putting it you know you might be able to see some of it so I wanted to just go ahead and get that all nice and finished and of course here I am measuring things out as if that's gonna make it any easier for me to make sure it's in the middle but I do try to find like the middle point and give it a nice little dot and I check it just to be sure and then we're gonna use some uh, wood glue and we're gonna use hot glue. This is gonna give us a much better hold than just the hot glue, um, just because I do plan to put like something heavy on this. Um, when I tested it out, I have an iPad Pro, um, not the real big one, but the one that's, um, you know, uh, about the size of like a regular sized iPad, uh, much heavier than like the air or anything like that. So it holds pretty good. I haven't tried it with like a cookbook yet, but you know, it, it could very well work well for that too. <laughs> um, then you're going to use these four Jenga blocks. And like I said, I'm going to go in with wood glue too, because I really want it to stand up to, you know, some weight. We're going to piece all of those together and I'm also going to use the hot glue to kind of keep it uh, to give us that instant hold. Otherwise, we'd be sitting there waiting still probably for it to be drying. And I do wipe off any excess. Um, I like to do the wood stain or whatever you choose to do before putting on the glue because it's just not going to adhere to that hot glue, that wood glue, any of it. So I like to add that color however you're going to do um, beforehand. And then we're going to add that on to the bottom here. And I almost messed up. I placed it on the wrong direction because you want it to have a little bit like longer of a lip for it. So, and then go in with your wood glue to give it better hold. I used a paintbrush because I didn't want to just squirt it on there and have it go absolutely everywhere. And then we'll do the hot glue as well and just fix that down to the bottom. And what I will also do is I'm going to flip it around here in just a second and I'm going to add some hot glue underneath it too. Um, you could definitely add more wood glue down there as well. It just kind of depends on your preference and what you think is going to be best and what's going to hold best. So I do add that on there and you'll see here, I was thinking like, okay, I'm done. I'm happy with it. It looks nice. I was like, wait a second. I could totally add a vinyl decal on there just to give it something extra. And I'm so glad that I did because I think it really just escalates. It gives it a much nicer overall look. So if you have that option, I definitely recommend it. If not, uh, you can find all kinds of different stencils available where you can just put your stencil down and paint over it. And that would give it like that same really polished, beautiful look to it, to where it looks like, you know, something that you bought from store. So that is definitely an option. And here it is, as you can tell, it just looks so nice. This particular stencil, I will link below where to find it because I found that on um, a website and I got it for free. So next one up, we're going to do this double-sided um, cutting board. Again, another cutting board. This is kitchen stuff, so I figured we were good with it. So this project gave me a lot of heartache. <laughs> uh, first, we're going to do a coat of this sheepskin uh, full guard paint. And then after that has dried, we're going to go in with a layer of the antique wax. So here it is once I've done the first coat of that sheepskin. As you can see, I left the middle out because we're going to add something. Initially, I was going to do something different <laughs> on the, the side, this side here where I painted all the way through. 
So we're just going to speed through um, adding this wax to it just to kind of give you an idea of how I went about getting that more like wood grain look to it. Obviously this thing is plastic. So what I probably should have done was to either do a coat of like Mod Podge first or like sanded it down real good to give it uh, something to grab onto because when I tried to add the decal, it just did not... It, it took like long enough for me to think that I was going to be able to do it and then messed up towards the end. And you'll see that at the very end of this video if you're interested in watching me struggle. <laughs> it was awful. Um, I don't know. I, I need to learn my lesson on certain things. Just you can't put vinyl on it. I like the way it worked out. So it's, it's, it's okay. So as you can tell here, like I said, I'm just going to add it all on. Once I've gotten it to a point where I'm pretty happy with it, um, you kind of just go through and smooth it out a little bit. See, I'm going in with the sides, kind of pulling off some of that antique wax, like where I would think it'd be worn normally. So here it is kind of added just a little bit of detail at the top with some twine, nothing too intricate. I just like looped it through, did hot glue every so often. And on one side, what we're going to do is we're going to add this cork. It is from Dollar Tree and I'm going to just kind of basically peel off the part that you would usually adhere to it and just for some extra hold to it I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue it as well I don't know about you but anytime I try to use like whatever things are supposed to be you know sticking from from the Dollar Tree it doesn't always work out too well so I always like to add some hot glue to it as well and of course I got hot glue in a spot that it shouldn't have been so just clean that all up this is the aftermath. Uh, if you watch the end of the video, you'll see as well of how this came about. Um, and then there was actually another thing I tried in addition to this one. It, it was just, I tell you what guys, today I had like some like bad crafting juju or something. I don't know what it was. Um, but I just went ahead and put that down with some, uh, with a glue stick that doesn't really work that well. FYI. Um, I put it down with also with some hot glue. And to give it kind of like a little something extra and to, um, you know, make sure that there's not a big gap between like where the paper is, you're going to just trim it along with some twine, just Dollar Tree twine, nothing spectacular. And it just, like I said, it kind of feels like it gives it a little something without it being overdone, without taking away. The paper on this is actually also from Joann's. Uh, every so often they'll do a nice sale where it's like 10 for $2, uh, which is better than the Hobby Lobby price. So if you have a Joann Fabrics, um, check them out because they do these nice little deals. They're usually door busters, so you can't like use coupons with it or anything, but definitely check it out. So. I wanted to glue the entire way around on this just because I tell you what, I was having like a bad crafting day. So I was like, I'm not taking any chances that this thing is going to come off. So like I said, just glue this whole thing all the way around. And I actually started it um, at towards like the top middle of this because I am going to put a little bow on there. I figure this way, you know, you won't even see a seam. It'll almost look like you tied it on there with the bow. I mean, obviously you didn't, but it can kind of look like that if you, you know, choose to do this. So I'm going to make this quick little finger bow. Um, this is not my idea. I did not come up with this. I have to watch YouTubers to make any kind of bow. Um, and then I, you know, hopped on the struggle bus uh, to be able to get the scissors to cut it right. Tell you what, guys, like I said, bad crafting day, but I was dedicated. I was, I'm finishing this project today, right now, before I throw it away and get frustrated with it. So you do your little finger bow, you know, you wrap it all around and then you're just going to pull out the pieces that you want to cut and you just trim those, you know, cut them in half, trim it if you need to. And we're just going to glue that on right there in the middle, cover up where we attached our twine and that project is all finished and it is really pretty I have to say and then there's the other side is the side with the cork so now what kitchen would not be complete if you didn't do the pizza the pizza pan <laughs> it's a pizza pan I every time I thought about saying that I was like it's a pizza pan um oh gosh guys I'm sorry it's late um it's way past my bedtime so I got this little trick from 
uh, Sammy at Unicorn Dust Designs. I'm going to have her linked below because she's been uh, uh, inspiring me a lot lately. And this little guy here made it so much easier to, you know, give it a good spot to cut. So in hindsight, I probably should have, um, I don't know, not used like a blue marker, but it's kind of what I had readily available. So I just went with it. So I really love this saying though. It's also from, I believe a Tim McGraw song. Um, I don't listen to a ton of country. Uh, I hear songs. I'm like, Oh, I like that. And I really like the kind of sentiment behind that. So you're just going to add your hot glue and fix that in to the center part of your pizza pan and kind of, um, kind of like make sure you push down on that glue to try to keep it from looking too bumpy. I mean, it's, it's a pretty thick, um, placemat that we're using here. So it's not too bad. It's not like visibly bumpy, if you know what I mean. So once that is done, I was kind of like fiddling around trying to figure out like what I wanted to put around the inside, um, outer part of it in inside the pan on the outer part. Yeah. So I grabbed this nautical rope. It's like the lighter colored one, um, from Dollar Tree and you can take it apart, which is what I decided to do. So I took it apart. Um, if you two take it apart, there's three, um, pieces of this rope braid thing. And I just kind of try to like eyeball how much I needed. I got too much, which is way better of an option than, you know, than not. So at first I was like, I'm just going to put glue down on the whole thing. And that would have been a bad idea because it would dry before I'd gotten that close. <laughs> so I'm just going to glue it as I go. And this stuff, when you un unravel it, it is kind of like a curly wavy kind of thing. So glue it as you go instead of putting like a whole bunch down because, or I'm mean, sorry, not putting a whole bunch down, but if you're, instead of doing just like little spots of it, I wanted to just do it all the way around cause it was going to give me that kind of wavy look. And, and if that's what you're going for, then, then that's great. That's cause that's what it will do. So, um, I'm just going to glue it all down all the way around and apparently show you every second of it. Um, sorry. <laughs> and once we're done with that sometime, this year, which in hindsight, we don't have a lot left of. Um, do you guys have a lot of things going on for New Year's this year? Uh, I mean, we never really do a whole lot. So I imagine we'll just be, you know, hanging out at the house just like normal. So once you get it to meet in where you had it, I, I wasn't too concerned about it being completely in the middle because I am going to put some stuff on top of that. And I did decide to double it up. I, I don't show you that luckily enough. Um, and I take a piece of it, see how it's kind of like a wavy look to it. And I'm going to put like the biggest dollop of hot glue like ever. So what I do have, um, the, you know, foresight to do is I clip it down, which you can't see right now with see one of those little, uh, alligator clips or whatever you would call that little guy. I'm going to put it down there so it doesn't move around and put down like a tremendous amount of hot glue. I, I don't know where I thought this thing was going to go. I mean, it's not light, but it's not that heavy. Um, so I'm sorry that this is upside down because I just, I knew I was not going to be able to do this. Um, upside down for me, if that makes sense. Um, so we're going to put down a couple of little pieces of leaves. Uh, I was kind of playing around with how much I wanted and I've had this like long, it's a, like came from like a long stem rose. I've had it for uh, probably at least a year and a half, two years. So I decided it was time to use it on something. And I just trimmed off the, you know, large part in the middle. It's kind of a bud, but it's not a bud if you know. Um, and then I just start kind of adding stuff, making it look like however it is that looks good to me, at least. Um, I like this little sprig because it's nice and it has a couple of like closed up buds that are little tiny baby buds and some of them that are a little bit more open. So um, I end up using a little leaf down here at the bottom just to kind of cover up um, the stem of that rose. So, and then you're just going to kind of secure anything else down that you can find that needs securing. So. There it is. Always stay humble and kind. And I like that I can still see the words and it's not completely symmetrical. So I'm happy. 
All right, our next one is gonna be this kitchen conversions. Uh, now I will link it for you, but I made one um, out of wood and it's completely different. This uh, decal actually, well, it's not a decal, which you'll see. Um, I'm gonna use this sign from Dollar Tree. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. And I use the antique wax around the wood ish part <laughs> on the outside and i just printed this off um i'll link below where i found it it's actually a jennifer maker one um, what's cool is when she has her stuff out there you can go and download it and she gives you like the the files that you can use on like a Cricut or a silhouette but she also gives you like a pdf so if you do not have a Cricut or a silhouette you can still make stuff like this and if you didn't, I mean, obviously you can't see me talking right now, but I'm totally talking with my hands right now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, so I just put it in there, cut it to size, um, printed it on my, just my printer at home and get this twine. This is from Walmart. It's much thicker um, than the Dollar Tree one. And I was so close just now to putting it on the wrong side. Um, Thank goodness I didn't. So I'm going to try to make it a little shorter than I do. A lot of times I feel like I make the hanger part way too long. So just add your glue and it's done. All right. Last one is this really cute little heart mason jar. So we're just going to use one of these mason jars. I happen to have one from Christmas and we're going to paint that in this sheepskin and we're going to use this little heart, uh, which I've already spackled the hole and we're going to paint that with Waverly ink. And then I'm going to use this craft fabric stuff from Dollar Tree. I was fortunate enough to come across it um, a couple of months ago. That one. And I was like, yes, I'm going to go ahead and buy that now. <laughs> I'm going to just cut off a little rectangular shape of it to put on the top part. Just to kind of go with that black heart with the white. Uh, I kind of wish I had done this mason jar white, but, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty, as they say. Oh my gosh, I just realized that 2020 is in that phrase. I'm going to have to never use that again. Um, I don't want to invoke any 2020 stuff. Um, <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of glue it as I go and cut it as I go to make it fit better. I was just trying to make sure that I had it look as clean as I could. So I do glue down kind of the sides to give it almost like a seam. And like I said, glue it as you go, because if you add all of your glue all at one time, especially if you use this like little detail um, tipped Sherbonder guy, um, it's going to dry up. It's going to like, you know, not be hot and it's not going to stick to anything. So I speak because I have done it. <laughs> I'm just kind of folding it as I go, making it kind of work, you know, for me. And then like use your little spatula. This, this material is actually a little thicker than I thought it was going to be. So it wasn't too terrible. Um, but a lot of times that glue kind of seeps through the material, especially if you have a lot of it. So here that little part is done and I'm going to add my heart. I, I kind of like that it's black because I mean, obviously this came from like the Valentine's Day stuff at Dollar Tree. Um, and I don't want to look at make it look like two Valentine's Z because this isn't just, you know, for Valentine's. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, string up some twine around the, you know, lip right here and just secure it on the back. And I was thinking like, Oh, I'll do another finger bow thing. But I decided just to do like a regular little like shoestring tie, I think is what most people call it. And then it'll kind of look like the twine was tied on instead of, you know, you made a bow and put it on top of it. And we'll just glue that guy down and it'll be all finished. It is pretty cute. I'm pretty happy with it. And thank you guys so much for checking out today's video. Uh, stay on if you'd like to see my outtakes. <laughs> and of course, please subscribe if you have not already. All right, so here you're gonna see um, this. I've already put down the vinyl and it started giving me a problem already, um, but I'll let you watch and see how awful this all goes. <laughs> 